celebrate International Women's Day 2023. With this year's theme, Digit All, Innovation and Technology for Gender Equality, the United Nations Observance recognizes and celebrates the women and girls who are championing the advancement of transformative technology and digital education. We live in a world that is heavily reliant on technology. Our lives depend on strong technological integration, such as attending online courses, calling loved ones, making financial transactions, booking a medical appointment, and the list goes on and on. Globally, however, you will be surprised to learn that approximately 37% of women do not use the internet. 259 million fewer women have access to the internet than men, even though they account for nearly half of the world's population. Bringing women and other marginalized groups into technology results in more creative solutions and has greater potential for innovation that meets women's needs and promotes gender equality. A gender responsive approach to innovation, technology and digital education can increase the awareness of women and girls regarding their rights and increase their civic engagement. Growing inequality are becoming increasingly evident in the content of digital skills and access to technologies, with women being left behind as the result of this digital gender divide. Violence against women and girls in digital contexts is not a new phenomenon. However, it has rapidly escalated in the shadows of the COVID-19 pandemic as women's lives shifted online for work, education, access to services, and social activities. Online violence against women and girls is often connected to offline violence and can encompass many forms, including sexual harassment, stalking, and Zoom bombing. As we celebrate International Women's Day today, we need to consider effective ways to firstly close the digital access gaps. Secondly, support women in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM programs in order to ensure more women play active roles in defining and designing technology that will better support them and their commitments. Thirdly, address and prevent online gender-based violence. Fourthly, support development and implementation of gender responsive plans and budgets to strengthen alignment of public financing and resources with gender policy objectives and finally foster gender accountability for gender equality commitments. Women and girls are effective and powerful leaders and change makers for innovation and technology. Continuing to empower them to have their voices heard and promote their equal participation in, in decision-making forums related to technology and innovation are essential for sustainable development and greater gender equality. Without gender equality today, a sustainable and equal future remains beyond our reach. On the UN in Kenya side, as the Director General of UNON, as an international gender champion and as a women's rights activist, I have made a personal commitment to more fully operationalize the network of women leaders mentorship group at the Nairobi duty station. I commit to supporting and mentoring women staff members to advance in their careers at all levels within the United Nations and beyond. I am therefore very thrilled today 8th March 2023, to formally launch the United Nations Network of Women Leaders Mentorship Group Program, chaired by my sister, colleague, and friend, Ms. Memuna Maud Sharif, Executive Director of the UN Habitats. 
the Mentorship Grow program will be an integral part of the network of women leaders in the UN in Kenya. The group's main objective is to leverage the potential of mentoring in order to promote, support and connect women across UN agencies in the Nairobi duty station and perhaps beyond through the development of leadership skills, capacity building, encouraging and networking as essential components for career building while increasing productivity, motivation and innovation within the UN system. It will include women at all levels as mentees, whereas mentors could include both men and women who are committed to supporting women's empowerment and gender equality in the UN system. More information will be made available on this in due course as the program develops and evolves. I would therefore like to take this opportunity to wish all the women at the Nairobi duty station and to the partners, families and communities that support and hold them high a very happy International Women's Day. Thank you all and God bless you.